What's up, it's you. For today's video, we're we'll a full squawk ability team. I'll be using all the plumages on this team. So we've got a green, a blue, a white, and a yellow. Now, they do actually differ in abilities too. Like, two of them are the same, and then the other two are different. So I'll be using a team of four of the normal ones and the shiny ones. And I can tell you what, I feel like the shiny one doesn't look as good. All right, people, I've got five battles today with this team. And let's get into it. This Pokemon isn't the greatest in the world. So I to go through like many many battles all right our uh, first battle here this one is against uh Subion, and we have a team team here so let me know if you can guess what it is my first pokemon of course is going to be squawkabilly i know that really surprised you and we've got a special set this set is trash and difficult to use here so we've got a fake tears because it's going to be crying and i've got hurricane heat wave and hyper voice this is going to have the ability Sheer Force, and it's got the item as Throat Spray. So I've got the uh, Sheer Force boosting the Hurricane and the Heat Wave there. Hyper Voice was kind of this there for Stab and to activate the Throat Spray. So I got rid of the Skelly Dirge, which is pretty cool. And now we've got Hydreigon's Cousin here. Now, I can't do a lot to this. I could go for a Hurricane or a Fake Tears, but I think I'm going to get wrecked. So I went for Hurricane. I was like, okay, I outsmit. That's pretty cool. And I got, you know, pretty good damage there. And it's going to be going for a Rock to me. It's a physical set. Pretty nice. That, unfortunately, is going to be dropping my speed. Now, Squawker Belly isn't really what you'd call... It, it, it's not a hard hitter. It's 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 not that fast. And I can tell you what, it's not very bulky. So it's a difficult Pokemon to use there. So I actually was trying to get a Squawkabilly Sweep, but I haven't got one yet because uh, I keep getting wrecked. Next Pokemon is going to be... Oh, it's a Squawkability too. Now, this is going to be a Hustle set. So this actually gets Hustle, and I've given it Choice Band. So we've got Hustle, Choice Band, Brave Bird, Double Edge, U-Turn, and Quick Attack. That is going to be the end there of the uh, High Dragon's cousin. Next Pokemon is going to be Vaporeon here. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm loaded up with the uh, Brave Bird. I've got Choice Band and Hustle. This is going to do a lot of damage. Let, let's see how much it does. The only thing about Hustle, of course, when you try and get that muscle, is you can actually miss, and it really, really sucks. So that's going to be the end of Vaporeon here. I'm going to lose a lot of Rekos. So things are going, like, swimmingly up to this point. So out come the uh, the Weavile, and this is where things uh, you, you started to go wrong. So Squawk Ability is going to be uh, swapped out there. And we got uh, Squawk Ability. This is the oh, this is the white one coming here, or the grey one. So we've got Intimidate there. Unfortunately, it's going to be a special set. It went for Ice Beam on my Squawk Ability, and it freeze hacks. I'm like, you wouldn't read about it. So at the moment, Squawk Ability is currently floating in the air, not flying, and it's also a giant block of ice at the same time. Like, I can understand if, like, if you think about it, how is it floating? Because it's going to be, like, three times its weight, you know, with all that, like, frozen water on it, and it's not flapping its wings, so how is it staying alive? Anyway, or uh, flying, and how is it staying alive? So we got this sub from the Weaver, which is bad. Uh, Squawk ability is going to be frozen. It's, it's, it's letting it go at the moment. Now, this is a really bulky set, this one, for a Squawk ability. We've got Max Elf, and I've also got got um, max defense and this has roost parting shot aerial waste and foul play intimidate is going to be its ability too i noticed it did get intimidate so i'm going to be rolling with that so unfortunately at the moment this weaver is going to be uh you know setting up behind a substitute against me and i don't know whether i can beat this thing you know i do have one little option i could use it so i went for aerial waste like so let's go for that and now the weaver is going to go for a uh, another ice beam and that's the end of my little squawk now, people, if you enjoy the theme teams and you want to support the channel, make sure you do leave a like on the video there and let me uh, know in the comment section what you think of Squawkabilly. <laughs> Someone's going to be like, Pip Nut, it's trash. I know. I actually don't mind. It's, look, there's a worse Pokemon out there. It's called Wug Trio, all right? Now, we're going to go for a quick attack here. We're going to break up that sub. Thank goodness it didn't miss on the hustle. I was, I would have been crying, you know, grown man crying over small Pokemon. And uh, now Weevil is going to be going for another Ice Beam. So I've only got one more Pokemon left, and it's a Squawkabilly. I know it's quite... um. 
You were very surprised by that, but it is. Now, I just woke up. I had two hours sleep for like a week, and I had to, I sort of crashed for a little bit. So if my narration's a little bit off, you know why. Just try, don't try and roast me too hard. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be using a, uh, a gut set. It actually gets a gut. actually doesn't get better abilities. I'll give it that. And uh, this is a Guts uh, Flame Orb set. So I've got uh, Guts as the uh, ability, Flame Orb as the item. We've got Protect, Facade, Reversal, and Thief. It doesn't really get the greatest moves outside of Facade, let me tell you that. So going for Protect there, it's good to use Protection. And the Weavile is going to Terra. They're going for a Tactical Terra into the Dark type there. If I can uh, if I can get this Facade off there to land or just like get it to hit the Weavile, it should go down in one shot. And I know that it doesn't have a Focus. Or if it does have a Focus Sash, it, it, well, it doesn't have one anymore, does it? So go for a Terra here on the uh, a Terra uh, Normal here on the Weavile. No, oh, no, wait. I know what it is. So, in some of the battles, right, I actually forgot that I didn't have the Terra Normal. So, I had to go back and uh, change its Terra to, uh, to Normal because it started off being uh, flying. So, go for Sard there. Out speed the Weavile. And uh, that is going to be, uh, that's going to be fainted. And that's the end of the Weavile. So, it was actually a pretty interesting team there if you got to uh, notice what it was. Thank you, Bell Rocks, for the battle. Sub beyond. And uh, let's get on to battle number two there. That was nearly a disaster. I've got free sacks and set up on. You wouldn't read about it. Next uh, battle here. This is against uh, uh, Rio. And this was an interesting team as well. First Pokemon is going to be a Christmas tree. Now... This is good, but it's also bad at the same time because, you know, I've got that type advantage, but it's also got a good type advantage against me. It's got that, uh, it's got that snow flowing. So I've got area ways here. Oh, wait, this is a different, wait, no, this is the same team. Never mind. I've got like a, a normal and a shiny team. This is actually the shiny team. Let me, let me bring that one up real quick there. So going between them ones. Okay, yeah, I know what I'm doing now. So this is... The uh, physical says so we got air ice, giga impact, reversal, and endure. I tried to do different move sets on both the teams, but I don't know. At sometimes it was, it was kind of rough because it didn't learn like a lot of moves. So this one was max attack and max speed, jolly nature, and this had uh, lychee berry as the item with hustles. So I thought I could, you know, try and use more than one move there. So uh, Christmas tree is going to wreck my little parrot there. We're going to go into second squawk ability. I don't know. I, I think I kind of prefer the uh, the the normal ones to the shiny ones. It looks like the the little, what would you call that top on the part of their head? It's a crest? Is that what it would be? I don't know. Like, there's a specific name for it. I think it's a crest. Anyway, so I'm going to get burned by the flame orb there. And I've got uh, Protect Fury Attack. Very furious. Uh, foul Play and Fly in the Sky. So I can go for a Guts Fly. Only on Pipnash Channel here. And I should get some really good quality damage. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this Abomasnow has got Ice Shard. So it's like outspeeding all of my little parrots there. I have to do like a pirate team and have like, uh, well, I can't, I can't use chat up, but I could use Squawk and Billy. So that's going to be the end of the uh, Christmas tree there. Who's put their Christmas tree up? Who, who puts a Christmas tree up? Does anyone have like a real Christmas tree? Like, they literally go into the forest, you know, full lumberjack style, and you know, drag a Christmas tree back to the house, through the front door, put snow and dirt everywhere, and put it in a pot plant. Who does that? There's got to be one person out there. So next Pokemon is going to be Glacier. I'm a little bit scared here because this thing's got a bunch of special attack, and it could be scum too. It could be like Bright Powder. Matter of fact, I'm sure it is. So I'm going to go for the fly there on the Vapor. I'm hoping I can get a little bit of damage, or at least connect it does. And it's not bad damage there. I'm a little bit worried now because I've used up both of my physical attackers. And they're, you know, they're probably the best, uh, hardest hitters on my team. So I've only got really one option here. And that's my special uh, Squawker ability. Now, this is the uh, the yellow plumage one. So I've got Air Slash, Terra, Terra uh, Ground, <laughs> Heat Wave, and a Hyper Voice. Well... I'd like to go for Terra Ground, but I'm going to get wrecked if it's an Ice Beam. So I'm going to be going for a Heat Wave there. Heat Wave actually surprisingly takes it out. Like, I didn't think that it would. It must have just been the little bit of a boost it got there from the Sheer Force. It was enough. So that was awesome. If I miss then, that was done. Next Pokemon is going to be Crabomidor. I haven't seen this Pokemon in so long. I have to um, yeah, start using this uh, probably next year in some teams. So I've got Heat Wave, I've got Air Slash. I'm like, let's scum them out with the Air Slash here. So going for the Air Slash, almost taking Frosty the Crab Bomb all out. It's going to give me a fair punch in the face there. And Squawk ability is, uh, well, it's going to be no more. I've got one left now, people. Now, I'm a little bit of a predicament at the moment. Trust me. So we've got a, a really bad set here. It's a Pit Knight special, though. I've got uh, an Intimidate Squawk ability. So listen up here. We've got Max Health and Max Speed. Parting Shot, U-Turn, Final Gambit, and Hyper Beam. I've got a Choice Scarf as my item. I'm thinking, man, 
This is this is nasty, right? So I'm gonna have to go for a hyper beam here. I can't go for U-turn because I'll lock myself into it. I've got to fight this laser off as much as I can. So that's gonna be the end of the crap ominal there. I probably should have sent that one in earlier, you know, so I wasn't stuck with it at the end. So we got one more Pokemon left here, and that is going to be Swordsbark. It's the Winter Swordsbark, and they're going to go for a Terra now. And I'm, trust me, I'm terrified, because if I get hit by, like, I don't know, a Powder Snow, I'm going to get hit very hard. So it's going to go for an Ice Move, obviously, because it's uh, Terra into an Ice type. Now, remember, I was running max, uh, max health on this thing. So I've got to recharge this turn, which is bad. And now it's going to be going for a Terra Ice Move. Whether this is coming off physical or special, I've got no idea. But the cool thing was, right, I actually managed to live on uh, 69 health. So I'm going to get a Hyper Beam off there. Hyper Beam is going to do nothing. This actually was running Assault Vest too, apparently. And it's going to finish me off there with a Disrespect Horn Leech. But that's it for the second battle with the Squawk Ability team. Hope you enjoyed that. That was like a, uh, a full-on like Mono Ice team. So... Probably not the greatest matchup in the world there for the little parrots, but I did all right. I, I held my own there. I was a little bit I was scared of that Glaceon though. Alright, let's get on to battle number three. Now this was a uh, this was a battle uh, on the uh, Poke Portal. And if this was you, let me know in the comment section. They only brought three Pokemon along. So they were pretty, you know, they were pretty confident they were going to win this. So I was like, okay, this is my chanty. So our first Pokemon here is going to be Altaria. It's going to Altaria me to pieces. I can go for a Brave Bird here. Hopefully it lands. He did land. And Altaria gets absolutely buried in one shot. So that's one Pokemon down. That's a, that's a quality third of the team down there. So taking a little bit of recoil damage there, which is fine. Next Pokemon is going to be Tyranitar. I'm like, oh, no. I seen this in their team preview. I'm like, what can I do? Now, I've got U-turn, which would be good, but I'm choice bandit, so I'm like... Uh, I don't know if I want to actually sack any of my other Pokemon. So I'm just going to go for Brave Bird. Look at the damage that did. That was really, really good. I was so happy with that damage. Um, it's going to go for a Stone Mist there, which unfortunately does not miss. And my Squawk ability is going to fade there. So it's a critical hit too. Come on. <laughs> I would have taken out its entire family tree. If you'll never see a green plumage one again in your life. So we're going to slide into the yellow plumage here. I can go for a... Um, yeah, I can't really do much here. I can go for a... I, I was thinking I could go for a Terra Fly. But I was like, nah, it's going to do nothing. I could go for a hurricane too. I was like, this probably is going to miss anyway. I ate it landed. And it actually didn't do too bad a damage there when you think about it. So decent damage there. Stone Miss misses. It does its job. I'm like, good. That, that's excellent. So Tyranitar obviously only has uh, a rock type move being uh, Stone Edge there. So I feel like I could probably leave a crunch barely too. So I can go for a hype voice here. I don't want to miss. I, I want to get some damage here. I'm hoping they'll miss again and then I can you know back it up with another hurricane. So I got that plus one in special attack, which is uh, really, really nice there. And Tyranitar is going to connect with that Stone Miss and Squawk ability is going to faint there, which is a shame, but that's okay. It, it, it's all good. Now, this was a modest nature and uh, max special attack and speed. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, my next Squawk, but it's got, a, it's got a clear amulet. I got no Ute. Anyway, so I can go for an Air Ace or a Thumping Foul Play here. There's not a lot I can really do. I could try and stall it out, but I was like, nah, let's get some damage. So I go for the Foul Play. I need one more of them to take it out here. Stone Miss is going to land there. Squawk ability has lived. The absolute unit. So I lived there due to the Intimidate, due to the Max Health, flexing the leftovers, and then I can just go for Foul Play again and finish it off. There's nothing around that I could do. That was amazing. This bulky set actually worked. Then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for a roost instead. I, I got a plan and I need to execute it. So I go for that roost there. Stone Miss has missed. Matter of fact, I think they were choiced. So the, uh, the Sandstorm is going to subside, which is good there. And now I've got like a, I've got a decent uh, chunk of health back. So then I can probably attack the next Pokemon. I don't know whether I'm going to leave the next Pokemon's moves, but I just want to give it a go anyway. So I can go for Aero Ace or uh, you know, Foul Play. Disrespect Aero Ace is always nice. And that's going to be the end of the Tyrantor. I thought I was going to get, I thought I was going to lose to that one. That was scary. So the next Pokemon to come out here, I was, I was really confident. I'm like, I know their whole team had like another rock type. I was like, wonder if they were going to use it. But it actually turned out they didn't. They used a Noivern instead. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, this is probably going to outspeed me. I've got Air Race and Foul Play. I could go for a parting shot. I was like, I could go for parting shot, drop its stats, and then swap in my last Squawk ability to hit them hard and fast. Something like that, right? And I haven't used Terra either. So Noivern's going to go for a Dragon Pulse here. I ate that like a snack. So now I can go for parting shot here. Uh, tell, uh, whisper a couple of words into Noivern's little ears. Well, it's actually got quite big ears. And I'm going to swap that out and go into my last Squawk ability. Now, this uh, this is my Terra... 
yeah, this is the uh, this is the battle where I actually went and changed my Terra flying to normal because I'm like, I've got all these Terra flyings and I'm not really going to use them. Matter of fact, I only pretty much terra a couple of Pokemon, like one or two Pokemon in each uh, Squawk ability team because the other ones weren't really worth it. So I just never bothered uh, changing the Terra around. So we're going to get that uh, that Terra normal there going. We got that big uh, that big jewel on the top there, and this is going to be hitting like really really hard. Now this is my. Uh, Facade set there. We're just going to go Facade right off the bat there. I'm already burned. Terror Facade is going to drop the Noivern in one shot right there. And that, my friends, is the end of the battle number three, which is awesome there. We actually got the dub. So thanks to my opponent for only bringing half the team to, it made things quite interesting. Like, I could have easier lost that battle if those Stone Edges connect, like... It could have been really, really bad. All right, next battle, uh, the opponent brought three as well. It's like, what's going on here? This is interesting. So next uh, battle we got, um, I, I'm not sure uh, both of these trainer names. I, I, I don't know even what they say. So if someone wants to translate them, it's always appreciated when people do that. So I've got the uh, Meow Skarda lady. I've got Protect Facade. I'm like, well, it's definitely going to outspeed me. At least if I can get the Protect and Flame Mob up, if I can manage to leave the move, um, which has got to be knockoff. I'm confident that I can one-shot it. Unless it's got, like, I don't know, a sash or something like that. So it's going to go for the protein knockoff, which is, you know, going to do a fair whack of damage there. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know whether I'm going to live this. It's going to be quite close. So now I'm burned here. I can go for facade, which will be double base power. I was thinking about going for a terror time, like, if this needs to faint. So I just went for the terror here and went for it because it was quite a, uh, quite a scary Pokemon. Plus, they only had three Pokemon on their team, too. So I was like, why not? Let's just do it. So go for that Terra, uh, Terra Normal facade again there. It's funny how um, it's funny how it actually you managed to fly still with that massive like jewel on its head. You think it would uh, you know, be difficult for the fly. So I just lived knockoff. It was a very close thing, and I managed to get off the facade on the uh, Meow Scarter. So Meow Scarter is not going to have a sash, and it is going to get dropped in one shot, which is brilliant. So we've got two more Pokemon to deal with here. Now the next Pokemon that came out here, it was a troll. It was a like complete full-on troll set. You watch this. this is, it's almost like a Pip Night special there. So we got Don Do <laughs> We got Don Dozo here. This thing is like basically a water Snorlax. It really is. So I'm going to go for a facade here. I was like, this is going to do a lot. I want to see how much this does. And the uh, Don Dozo actually lives it very well considering. So I'm like, man, that, that's so tanky. It has so much health, right? So Don Dozo is going to eat a berry. And you watch this. This was cruel. They went for a yawn and I had, like I only got a bit of health left. So I ended up fainting. So they did that on purpose to disrespect me. That's cruel. That's actually something that I would do. So the Squawk ability is going to fight there. My hardest hitting Pokemon is uh, is now fainting. It's like, man, I, I, got, I got to get rid of this thing. So the next uh, Pokemon I'm going to put in is going to be my Squawk ability Yellow. This is the special set. So I'm like, well, I could go Fake Tears. I'm sure it's got Unaware, so there's no point, you know, using any Salt Moose. So matter of fact, I don't think I've got any anyway. So I'm going to go for Hurricane here and Hurricane Miss, which sucks. Now the uh, Dod Dozo is going to go for a Yawn here and put me to sleep. So I was kind of curious what other move... You know, this Pokemon will actually have. You know, I'm sure it's got like a water type move. Well, I was at this point, I was like, well, it's probably got like waterfall or something like that. I don't know. So I went for the hurricane this then. I was going for a confusion. It did all right damage. It's a two hit KO for that range. It's got Fissure. What is this set? So it's got Yawn and Fissure. Maybe it doesn't have anything to hit me against. Like, it's just like a full on troll set. So Yawn and Fissure. Like, what else would I have? I was, I, was, I was curious what this set would be. Like, I've actually got a set that's similar to this. They kept using Yawn. Like, I don't think they can do anything here. I think they've got no moves to hit me at all. So Squawk ability is sleeping while it's flying. It, they just kept using Yawn over and over again. Like, what are you doing? So it's Quarker Bell is still sleeping. I still sleep on the job there. And then uh, they actually reveal another move, which is Curse. I'm like, okay, clearly they've got no uh, ways to hit this team at all. They just brought along for a troll. Um, so I guess, what would the other move be? Uh, curse, Yawn, Fissure, maybe Rest or something like that. So I went for a Hyper Voice here on the uh, Don Dozo. And I mean, the special attack boost is probably not going to matter because they probably got unaware. And Don Dozo is going to go for a Yawn again. So they were pretty much just spamming Yawn. I think they're trying to set up their last Pokemon if they do faint. So I went for another Hyper Voice here and Don Dozo is going to be fainting there. What a troll set there. I, they needed something like, I don't know, maybe like a coverage with like Waterfall, but maybe, I, I reckon, judging on the damage I did to them, they had everything invested in Bolt, like nothing in attack. Last Pokemon is going to be Gold Dengar. I'm like, oh no, this is very, very bad, because 
This Pokemon resists like every single move that I've got and it's got like a mega special attack. So they're going to go for a power jam. Uh, yeah, that's the end of my squawk. I'm not going to be living that one. The only move I'd really have that would truly hit them hard would be Thief. So going into Squawk ability there, uh, we're going to drop their attack stat, which, you know, matters so much. It's interesting, right? For example, uh, the Intimidate actually works on uh, Gold Dingo, but say if I use something like Parting Shot on it, it wouldn't work. So it's kind of interesting how that uh, that, that drop actually, good as gold, actually works. So I managed just to live the attack there, which is, uh, let, let's be real, it's pretty impressive. And now Gold Dingo is going to be uh, finishing me off there. So I, I, I tried my best. Unfortunately, uh, I just don't do enough damage, and this thing does resist me. So my last Pokemon here is going to be Squawkabilly. It's the green parrot. I've just gone for Brave Bird here. I'm hoping for a crit. That would have actually KO'd if it was a critical hit. Um, Gold Dango is going to be able to live that one and finish me off with the Power Gem there. And that's the end of the green plumage Squawk ability. I tried, people. Unfortunately, Gold Dango's uh, steel typing like absolutely wrecked me. They all were a troll with that Don Dozer, though. They kept spamming Yawn over and over. Let's get on to the uh, final battle of this video. If you're enjoying the video so far and all the battles I put it in, make sure you press that like button. Leave a comment there. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at this one. This is the battle against uh, Joba King. And uh, we've got a Flittle lead. It's going to frisk out my. Uh, my throat space. So now they're going to go for a, uh, um, wow, that was like a baby doll eyes. Now I've got a special set here, so I'm not going to be affected by them baby doll eyes. A uh, imagine doing a flittle sweep. That would not be fun. So getting a special attack boost there, which is nice. A nice uh, free uh, free KO. Now the next Pokemon to come out here is going to be Iron Valiant. I actually just did an Iron Valiant forms team. It's going to be going, I'm going to go for the Air Slash actually, and it's going to be going for a Hypnosis. Both moves you know, they, both, they just miss completely. So with this time, I went for a high voice because I don't want to miss. Iron Valiant lives on like one health and lands a hypnosis. Come on. Why does this always happen? So Squawk ability is going to be having some sweet dreams again. Matter of fact, is this the one that got sleep? This is the one that got put to sleep before. Maybe, no, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was like the, I don't know. I'm getting mixed up. There's too many birds. So here comes the uh, Moonblast. Eh? Moonblast is a two hit KO. Even drops my special attack. I woke up here. You wouldn't read about it. And I got a hyper voice going there. So Iron Valiant has uh, has fainted. So that's half the team down. We're going to see if we can get this sweep right now, ladies and gentlemen. So next Pokemon is going to be Floet. And uh, this is going to have... It's going to be shiny too. That's pretty cool. It's so tiny. So go for a Desperation Terry. I need that sweep there. I've been absolutely destroyed every single battle. We're going to get that Terra Ground there. Once again, I don't know how uh, this Pokemon actually flies with like the planet virtually on its head. So I can go for Terra Ground there. Terra Blast Ground. I don't think they'll ever see this one coming, right? So Terra Blast Ground, I mean, let's be real. It's probably not going to do too much damage, and it's a three here, KO. So Floet has pulled out the mighty Terra Tackle, and it does three damage. I went for another Terra Blast there, and it's popped a Razor Leaf, and it's super, <laughs> super effective. And my Squawk ability is going to faint. Razor Leaf Tackle Floet, people, only on Pinrush Channel. You know, you never see these things uh, anywhere else in your entire life. You can look around the entire world, you'll never see them. Next Pokemon is going to be Squawk Ability. The sweep got failed, and we're going to try and finish this thing off. I got Clear Amulet right there again. Go for a Disrespect Final Gambit on the Floet and finishing it off there with Star. So I've got one more Pokemon to take out, and I've got two more... Um, Two more Squawk abilities, right? So next Pokemon is going to be the blue, uh, the green plumage one. The green plumage uh, uh, set here. And the last Pokemon is the mighty Magikarp. Look how golden it looks. They've really done a, a job on Magikarp. It looks very, very gold, you know? It almost seems to be like the same similar color scheme as like the, the Paradox Pokemon. You know how they're very like... Uh, obviously, the uh, the future ones, they look very, very silver-like. They sort of look different, you know, but Magic Up, I feel, feel falls into that category. So they're going to put on the uh, Jester hat. Our cloud mode is activated. I'm going to go for my attacking move here. It was Giga Impact, and it has a Focus Sash. So I'm going to be recharging this turn in. Magic Up's going to go for a tackle. It does a quality seven damage here, you know. It really, really hit me hard. Now it's going to go for a flail. Flail is going to fail. I'm going to go for a Giga Impact, and that is the end of the Magic Up. The battle actually got disconnected right at the end there. I pressed the OK button, and the battle was still OK. And that's it, people. That is the end of the Squawk Ability Team. I hope you enjoyed it. This Pokemon was quite difficult to use. Peace out.